Hello and welcome to Owl Plays. Um, this is Cartoon Cartoon Summer Resort. I actually played these games as a kid many, many years ago, probably about 20 years ago now. Maybe not that long. Actually, probably. I would have been about 8 years old, probably. That's scary. <laughs> That's scary. Um, but yeah, um, I just remembered these games and I thought it would be fun to play them again. And luckily there is a web version, like a fan port of them on GitHub. But yeah, let's go straight into episode 1. Pool Problems. <laughs> That music is ingrained in my brain, and one of the nice things about this is you can actually make the music quieter. You can also change if you want the smooth animations or the old animations which run at 12 frames a second. We're going to put the smooth ones on. And you can either have pan between maps, as is the way the original game ran, or you can have the center on player. We're going to stick to the pan between maps because, to be honest, OBS doesn't record Firefox particularly well, so this way it looks a little bit better. It's not going to be great. But anyway, let's get on with this, and I have tested this, it does work. I love the little animation he has and the sound effects, and then <laughs> the noise it makes when you bump into something. Brilliant. Anyway, I've got to pick up these keys. What do you mean I've got no way? Oh. Yeah, this game was a little bit glitchy back in the day. I don't think all the glitches were fixed, which is... I don't know if it was because they weren't able to fix them, or just a ch weird choice. Anyway, so this is the first episode, and this is the one I remember the most, because I think it's the one I got closest to beating. Basically, you've got to get the pool to get the water back in. That's it. What did she say? I didn't really pay attention. At the beginning of each week, go straight to the information booth. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I do love that sound. It's really good. Basically, you had to find some items to fix the pool. Remember when I was in primary school in year one, we had to like a write a story in English class, and I actually just plagiarised this game. <laughs> it was like, I had to fix the pool, like, of all the things to plagiarise this game. You bought the sunscreen, I didn't even know I had money. I love these little stick figures, <laughs> they're brilliant. Can I get ice cream? No. Can I get a hat? No. Here's Johnny Bravo. Here's all you get a lot of cartoon characters in this from Cartoon Network. I think I saw that creepy dog courage, that's not nice. What a bummer about water in the pool, no we can go swim in. Someone needs to find the wrench. Okay, oh yeah, by the way, they got, it's weird, they've got like a scroller bar here. I think they could just like fit it in one bit or, or whatever. It's the way the game was made. But yeah, this originally ran at 12 frames a second and yeah, that's not good. I'm not sure why they picked such a weird frame rate. Remember, you could, I remember one of the episodes you could talk to the people in these huts. I don't think you can do it in this one. So yeah, I'm, I'm not. I don't know the solution to this game. I'm gonna probably try and figure out as I go. If push comes to shove, I will use the guy because I just want to save time. Oh goody, sunscreen! Here you can have this sock. This sock smells like a foot. There was trouble a foot. Sorry, that's a Bob's Burgers sort of pun. Who is is him? Ed. If you want this school scotch, scotch tape, I'll trade it for you for a chocolate bar. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember the boat. I do remember the boats. You could go out. I remember the volcano episode. I'm not walking into the water. Yeah, the collision is a little bit naff in this. I'm surprised I didn't fix it in this po this port. Make it a little bit better. Maybe they're nostalgic for the glitches. Is that IR Barboon? The red arse. I want bananas. No more sunscreen today. But you just gave me sunscreen. <laughs> hmm, bit of an oversight there. Oh, it's chicken. Where's that stupid cow? Oh, I actually have chicken as an item. All right, to the barbecue we go. Why am I fixing all the problems for you? Would like it's a vacation for me as well. It seems very selfish. How, wait, how did they get on those tables on the roof? Anyway, let's make our way back here. I feel like there's going to be a lot more jump cuts in this one. So what? what? Oh, chocolate bar. What, wait a minute. Chocolate bar. Yeah, you have to use the mouse for this for some reason. Not really sure why. I you mash it enough, it just makes does the ding ding noise. But <laughs> that sound is going to make me laugh every time. I think. All right. So can I have the scotch tape, please? So this is one of the items I think you have to use to actually fix the pool or the pipe. The pipe mania. 3D. Now, what do I need to get to get a boat? You rented it. Oh, just get it straight away. Find seaworthy craft. Now, I don't remember this character, Og. Oh, is this from Mike Luke and Mike Lou Nog? I never watched that. I don't think I ever saw that on TV. I don't think it ever aired here in the UK. If I only had a hammer, I'd open up this darn coconut. Just smash it. Oh, so 
Yeah, we can kind of see how the puzzles are working now. Oh, the bananas. Obviously, I can't get them. He said he would help me get them. Who's in here? Who's in here? But where are the volcano? Okay, I'll let Vivian deal with that. Yeah, you can see that the, the scoring's not brilliant on this, sadly. Um, oh, it's Courage! Johnny Bravo's cavern. He looks terrified. What's going on, Courage? I think I saw you just walking around the wrench with the wrench last night. I can't read. I'm sorry. I should I should know how to speak better than this. He always takes it whenever he goes on vacation. What did he say he was? Okay, well I've got to find Eustace. Useless. Reminds me of like, those little like towns in the Pokemon games which don't make any sense. The tennis rocket is hidden underneath one of the fountains. Okay. So this is the tennis court that we'll go to in the next episode. The Tennis Tron X35Z is the greatest tennis playing robot in the world. Okay. A little bit of foreshadowing for the next one, I quite like that. Oh, here's DD. I don't really watch much Dexter's Laboratories. Oh, the ducks. Is there anything in here? No tennis racket here. It's Mojo Jojo. I didn't watch much um, pa uh, Powerpuff Girls as a kid because it was very shadow. I was like, oh, that's a girl show. I won't watch it. You there, go and get me a first aid kit. You dumbass. I thought he was supposed to be a smart lad. Guess not. Oh, I can take it to the ducks now, can't I? Is this the fountain that you can move? No. Nope. Not the ducks, though. They're all nice. None of them is getting in the way. Yum. Yum what? what, what? Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, come on, I'm s Oh, that's ridiculous. Don't tell me I'm going to have to start the entire bloody game. Yep, um, I'm stuck. Literally stuck on a duck. Yeah, oh, I'm going to have to start, aren't I? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the duck bit out of the way, because I do actually remember that as a kid. Get really frustrated at getting stuck on those ducks. Normally I love ducks, but this is the sole exception, so I'll get the boat straight away. I'm not messing around today. Alright, so you see the ducks. <laughs> Before we get stuck again. It is amazing how much of this, like, location I remember off my top of my head. Like, I must have explored this a fair amount. Like, is this the one that you push? There you go. What were you going to give me? Do not feed the duckies. What's that shiny wrench looking thing over there? So, you gave me nothing, basically. Apart from a clue, I guess. <gasps> I found a tennis racket. I'm pretty sure this sign here says don't push the fountains, and it gets like angrier throughout the, the, the episodes. So what's the best method of getting in there? Because I need to get down there, but I don't want to get stuck. Oh god, it's random. No, no. 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 No, don't. There we go, I'm in. No. No. Go away. Got it. That's the hardest part of this game done. Ooh, I don't like those ducks. But no, normally when I see ducks I'm really happy, like, I go to the food warehouse in here in Weymouth and I always go past the swanery just so I can see the ducks on the way back home. Yeah, they should just have this be stuck on a grid instead of giving you this much freedom. It makes the game much more tedious. Anyway, de anyway Tennis, Menace, what, what's his name? Dexter. Oh, a hammer. Hammer to bang stuff. Okay. So, does Courage actually serve a function in this particular episode? I mean, I mean, he kind of hint that there's a wrench, but I kind of know I needed a wrench from another character anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You come with me, boy. I'm taking you back to your sister. I don't remember watching much Cow and Chicken, because I don't think they made a huge amount of episodes of it. Or I R Baboon, or I R Weasel. I, my favourite cartoons were always like Courage, Cowardly Dog, and Ed, Ed and Eddie. He kind of matches with the sand, doesn't he, his skin? I want the scotch tape, but I don't want it now. Okay, here's the cow. So what are you going to give me? You give me the chocolate. You give me the scotch tape, which is one of the items I need for the finale. Double D, thanks Double D. Alright, here's the ice cream, but is this the sunscreen? Okay, so I got the your sunscreen. Now you're going to give me a smelly ass sock, won't you? Ugh. Do not want a sock. Oh, this sock is one of the items you put on it, but why would a sock work? Because it would just leak water. Like a bladder. <laughs> like there you go. 
Oh, so that guy up there wanted the hammer, didn't he? One of the trees on Volcano Island can be moved. Okay, but I wonder if you could do this without being told by him first. Like, it would even work. Okay, that's just nonsense, but it works. Give me them bananas. Yes. Wait, you did, it said it. Yes, we have some bananas. Oh, I like the song. Oh, that's cute. I was making the same joke. Tape made from ducks. Oh, that's a really bad joke. Have I got enough to beat the game? No, I need chewing gum, don't I? So here we go, they put it on and there's like three holes. Pop, 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 four. Oh, five, oh dear. Ding, ding. Wrong, <laughs> wrong. So I've got three of the items. So we need two more items, don't we then? Have so I got that right? Oh man, why you got stuck there? Johnny, stop walking around, you're gonna get me stuck, man. Not bravo. So you need a first aid kit. First aid kit. Oh god, I can't speak. I just remembered I need the tennis racket to give to Dexter and I assume he gives me something useful. Right. I swear, those ducks are in the future levels. I'm going to be really... I keep saying levels, I should say episodes. Like it's got them Star Wars or something. Right, so I think it's the second to left one which has the tennis racket in it. No. No. Wait, have I already done the tennis racket? I specifically remember one of the characters giving you chewing gum. Why can you not give me chewing gum? Oh, there's my chewing gum. That was just annoying. So there's one item left. Well, I need to get my first aid kit, so where do I get the first aid kit from? Oh, I forgot about this little area, didn't I? Oh, here we go, here's a first aid area. I swear, this better be the solution. Oh, it's closed now, how convenient. Hopefully, giving him the first aid kit will give us the last item and we can call it a day for this episode. Yeah, I think these characters were just made up for this game, these games. A band-aid, there we go, I think we got everything. I don't like how the sock is one of the items. That really annoys me. Oh, uh, wait, it was up here, isn't it? Don't you walk into me, Johnny. Don't you, you move, I need to get in. I'm trying to fix the pool for you, mate. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's the pump house. Here we go. Alright, so... So scotch tape makes sense. Sock doesn't make sense. That makes sense. I can vaguely accept the gum. And a plaster. We don't call it a band-aid here. Why has it got, like, not gapped, but gapped, spaced properly and, like... Oh, who cares? This game is probably rushed. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, Scooby-Doo sound effect. You helped fix the pool. This is going to be a great vacation. And these are all our little cartoon pals who joined us. Well, let's go to the next episode. So this is Tennis the Menace, starring Longhair. He's like a caveman dude, I think. So what have I got to do this time? Oh dear. So we've got Johnny Boy, we've got this the devil, Mr. Hot Dog himself. So I need to find the logic luggage cart. You are not room service. I don't have the cart, I promise. Who's there? Me. Now I can leave. Okay, this is one hideous carpet. Yeah, I know. Oh, I got to give it to you. Oh, no ding sound effect. Info booth. So what is today's escapade? Yeah, I know, I saw the title screen, mate. I know what's going on here. Is this, the, is this like, level basically the same way? You just gotta find, like, four items to stop the robot? Something weird like that? Oh my god, that's the biggest sprite I've ever seen. Oh no, the Tennis Tron X35Z has gone haywire, shooting hundreds of tennis balls. I don't see any balls, mate. At random and breaking lots of stuff. If only I had a suit of armor, I could get closer to this robot gone berserk. And disarm him, will you help me? Yeah, sure. Okay, I mean, I don't... It looks like it's not really causing any problems now, so I'm just gonna walk away. Bye. Right, let's talk to the characters. Let's talk to Useless. I keep, I keep wanting to say, call him Useless. But I've got a slight slur. Go oh, down it, this place is too bright for the old peepers. If you can find me a pair of what they call sunglasses, they have a skeleton key. Why do you have a skeleton key? Alright, but yeah, we know it. Okay, mate, there's sunglasses right next to you. 
Just pinch one of those, I don't think people are going to realise that looks like on every mat. That was the mayor. I think I lost my wallet. <laughs> it's just fetch quests, this game is just fetch quests. You have no need to buy jewellery, okay. Closed. Ten dollars, I don't have any money. The hats, this place sells are very silly. This really is Team Fortress 2, isn't it? No! For Pete's sake, my name's Peter, don't say that. Don't move the fountains. Well, I'm just about to do that now, I'm afraid. Line this up perfectly. I don't think there's anything under them. It's just kind of like a weird recurring joke of not moving the fountains, which is kind of cute. No, nothing. Are they... <gasps> what the hell? Good heavens, that's my reaction exactly. You discovered a slimy octopus hiding under the fountain. I did not remember the octopus. Octopuses are cephalopods. Cephalopods, I cannot speak today. I'm not going near those ducks. And there was a flower down there I need later, I guess. Tambourine, give you a tambourine. No. I'm gonna guess that if I find the wallet, I get money, I'll use the money to buy sunglasses. And no wonder I didn't beat these games as a kid because they are a little bit tedious, but they are kind of charming as well. Wait a minute, what's down here? I don't remember this. Oh, I do remember this, it's a turnip. And it looks it looks like a really like a, a photo one they've had to like compress really badly. At least like the the ET the ET <laughs> the edible part can't fucking speak. I haven't done one of these in months, I haven't recorded one of these in January, it's the end of bloody March. The elusive turnip. So I've got an octopus and a turnip. I do not remember these items in the slightest. I do vaguely remember this area. I think it's like like hidden off in the other le the episodes. So I've got a turnip. Do you want a turnip, mate? Can I give you this instead of the um the the tambourine? Hi. Oh, that's cute. So did you change the layout a little bit? I want that teddy bear. I just took it. I just stole it. What? <laughs> just <laughs> you lazy. T Gib. In France, this is called fromage. <laughs> Omelette de fromage. You got that lunch from that stupid cow. Enjoy this yummy nut log. Nut log, that sounds so wrong. You went to the boat. I do not remember this episode in the slightest. Okay, you're on this island now. It was a wallet. One of the resort's cabana shops has a first edition brack. Brack? Space Ghost? Are you seriously a Space Ghost reference? I mean, I've never watched it, but what a weird thing to reference in a kid's game. I mean, I know Adult Swim was a thing, but it was for adults. Where are the crabs who live on Crab Island? They have the mysterious ability to instantly knock you back to another part of the resort. Here's a hint, if you stand still, the crabs can't get you. <gasps> Evil crabs. I do remember this bit for some reason. It's coming back to me now. I'm guessing I need a key to get rid of that boulder. Oh, the armor! The armor that Dexter wanted. He wants literal armor. There you go. Oh no, can it transport you to like literally a random part and get you stuck? I ordered a big value meal at the restaurant, but all I want is a french fries. If you can find me some ketchup, I'll let you have this cheeseburger. Why don't you just get the french fries then, you numpty? Uh, double D, I thought you were smart. Numpty, numpty. Oh, was the mayor? There he is. Wow, well, I was right, I get $10 and I can use that to buy sunglasses, so I can't even use it to buy something for myself. Buy myself a cheeseburger. Alright, so let's buy those sunglasses. There you go, and Eustace wants them. It's weird how easy it is to figure out these puzzles as an adult as opposed to a kid. Like, I must have been like a really impatient little turd. If it wasn't like Crush Bandicoot or like Ape Escape, I didn't want to play it. <laughs> I don't think I was used to sort of point and click games. I mean, I know this literally isn't a point and click, but it's sort of that sort of style. Anyway, you come here, mate. What do you give me? This will open almost any door. Well, I guess that's going to give me the the, sh the shiny armor. Let's get going. Do not mess this up. And why I'm going to literally get transported into like a soft lock. Run, run. Run. Oh no! Puzz a puzzle. Give me that. The suit. Not just a suit of armor, the suit of armor. 
No, I'm going. I don't need the crabs. So now I'm going to need something to plug up the halls, aren't I? Oh, that animation is amazing. Give me five items to plug up the halls. Well, I'm guessing a Mr. Octopus, a turnip, a nut log. Oh, I was correct. Tenneth. It's literally just to plot the first one, isn't it? Plug up the halls. There is a flower. I don't think the flower you actually use, though. Oh, courage. What's going on here, mate? You're happy. I don't like that. What a beautiful fountain. Why is he smiling? Do you think this wig makes me look different? I'm trying to disguise myself so that creepy mojo Jojo won't find me. Maybe a moustache would be better. A goddamn moustache. A <laughs> goddamn moustache? What the f- Does this girl have one? Which one are you? I forgot. A trip on a rock in the parking lot. Okay. But Johnny Bravo? Oh, Johnny Bravo has it. I guess he does serve another function. Turnips are weird. Yeah, they are. I don't like turnips. I don't like parsnips either. Not be kind of Swedes. The vegetable, not the, the people. I don't know the people. Pet rock. Well, apparently there's one in the parking lot. How convenient. So where's that rock? I said it was in the parking lot. I'm in the parking lot. I don't find it. I was lied to. Don't tell me I have to go like over every single square to try and find this bloody rock. You find a pet rock underneath this car. Okay. But why would it be under the car? Have you tripped on it? That implies it's not under a car. Unless you were under the car and somehow tripped. <laughs> oh. Oh. And it's got this, this lady, her pet rock. It's an actual thing though, isn't it? A pet rock. You can get like pet rocks with USBs in them, can't you? Pretty flab up. I was already going to get a flower, I think, from elsewhere. At least I can avoid the ducks this time quite easily. The evil ducks. Oh. I got the tambourine by accident, I don't mean to. But yeah, I can get those flowers down there, I think. Do not feed the duckies. Well, I'm not feeding them me. You picked a flower. Me? Who picked this flower? Me! I picked the flower. And what's next? I've got... All these items. Um, he wants a tambourine, doesn't he? Literally right here. Staying alive. Pineapple. I guess I could plug it with a pineapple. But who wants this nasty flower? Somebody wants ketchup. But where would I get the ketchup? I swear, if it's like on one of these tables, I'm gonna be mad. What? Retired? No. But I am like that you have to go here. A starfish? Where am I supposed to get bloody starfish from? Welcome to the trading post. Okay, bye. I don't have a link cable, I'm afraid. Where am I supposed to get a starfish from? Oh, here we go. My real passion is gardening. <laughs> what? Sleeping, okay. Starfish are... Echidnotherms? I'm watching you, buddy. Don't even think about it. Alright. I put the barbecue away. So who wanted the starfish? An excellent trade, a rare and valuable trading card of Brack. It's got Brack on it, what the hell? So I got your card, mate. It's him. It wasn't he voiced by George Lowe? I think, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Now who wanted this damn card? It was a yo-yo. Yo-yos are fun, no they're not. Don't lie to me. Oh, that's... It's really awesome they reference that show, even though I've never watched that show, to be honest. So what's this mask for, then? I generally don't remember what this mask is for. Will you just eat it without ketchup, mate? Give me the damn burger. It's not like in here, is it? Something silly like that. Come back when you're fancy clothes. How dare you? Mate, you serve cheeseburgers and fries. You're not a fancy restaurant. You're goddamn McDonald's. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm really reluctant to go to, like... Get, get my phone, but... Oh, what's going on here? There's another hut. I never noticed this. Can I go in? You found a fake moustache in Johnny Barrow's cabin. Oh, that's good. A fake moustache? Tricky. I say more like tickly. Anyway, let's go to courage. I got his moustache. Maybe he has ketchup. I don't know. There he is. But there he is. It's weird to see him smile. I don't think he ever smiles on the show. Um... 
I got a wig. What's this wig for? I don't know what the wig's for. It's not one of the items I need to like plug up the thing, is it? Let's just have a look. Alright, I know I haven't probably got all the items, but I want to give it another go, just for fun, really. Mr. Octopus or Mrs. That, 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 that. I mean, there's five items. What? But what's the cheeseburger for, then? Oh, I'm guessing you could have either, like, m maybe the cheeseburger's a red herring for that red sauce. 